What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're gonna be making cauliflower steaks today. Basically, we're gonna just take the center of the cauliflower and we're gonna make two steak, about eight ounce size um, cuts out of it. And we're gonna make it on the air fryer. We're just gonna add a couple of simple ingredients, a little bit of olive oil. It's gonna be really delicious. We're gonna see how um, the consistency of it is. My first time actually making this recipe. So let's get right to it. Okay, so let's go over our ingredients really quick. This is a super easy recipe. We're gonna use some smoked paprika, some Laurie's garlic salt, some uh, crushed chili flakes for a little bit of heat. And actually the smoked paprika is a uh, hot smoked paprika, so it's got some heat in it also. But if you don't like heat, regular smoked paprika will work great. Using olive oil, and we got one large size head of cauliflower. And out of this cauliflower, the part that's used uh, to make the steaks is just the center. We're gonna cut down the middle, and then that's, this stem right here will hold it together, and we'll cut that piece into two. Uh, so it'll make two uh, equal size steaks, if everything goes according to plan. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cauliflower, we're gonna trim some of this big stem off. Now you want to kind of look for a place where you can continue the cut, the follow through. So it comes out kind of like a steak without um, breaking, without falling apart. So this part right here is probably going to be our best bet. So I'm going to cut down the middle like so. As you can see, I got one big piece already and then we're going to cut another one and I'm going to make it about a half inch thick or so and there we are so we have a cross section of the cauliflower now I could probably maybe even get another one a thinner one out of this but I'm not really going to try it I got enough there I'll save those other pieces for other recipes so with this big piece that we got here we can make two portions of this cut it down the middle and we got a nice cross-section piece there and another one right there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put it directly on our air fryer basket here. We're gonna drizzle a little olive oil on it just to get the seasonings to stick. I rub them together like that, spread it out. Do it to the other side. I could I use a bowl on this and and I made a mess, but it's not really too bad. It's good for the cutting board too. So now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of the smoked paprika. Just sprinkle some on. And this will give a nice smoky flavor and also a little bit of a color effect. Just wanna dust a little bit on. like so now we're gonna go ahead and add the Laurie's garlic salt this is probably like the worst way you could add um, ingredients or seasoning because sometimes you get a little heavy-handed Sometimes bad habits are hard to kill. So here we go. That's pretty much everything there. And I'm gonna add a little bit of chili flakes for extra heat. Just like so.
and that's basically it now I'm gonna go over to our air fryer and I'm gonna try to run this on the top uh, rack at 350 degrees and we'll see how that works out all right so here we have it they're ready to go I'm gonna go ahead put the lid on this and run it we're gonna start out with about I don't know 15 minutes or so and then flip them over or maybe 10 minutes we'll take a look at it uh, once it starts to get some color and then uh, flip them over okay guys so it's been about eight minutes or so and this is starting to get some really nice color on one side I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and let it get some more color and cook on the other side smells amazing really really smelling good so let me make sure that so it cooked on the underside too from the circulating air on the air fryer so um, they look really really great it's say probably another eight minutes on the other side and they should be done uh, cooking completely so let me go ahead and get it back on and uh, we'll come back in a few minutes, probably about eight, another eight minutes and see what, uh, what they look like. Okay, so I gave it about another five or six minutes. Um, they look like they're cooked to me. 350 degrees, I would say. Um, eight minutes on the first side, they was actually cooking underneath already. So, and another five, so 13 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees uh, seems to be the sweet spot for cooking these. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they came out like. They look really, really nice. Ooh, that's hot. Um, I mean, they turn a nice color. The oil seemed to have absorbed nicely with the seasoning, giving it a nice golden little crust there and um, some of the flour has got a little crispy so I think all in all uh, pretty good it looks good it smells good um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it remember to give us give us a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you really soon on the next one all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and give this cauliflower steak a try just gonna grab it with my hand and take a bite Mmm. Wow. Wow, it's really good. It has surprising crunch on that first bite. Those little flowerettes. Got some heat to it. Got some smokiness. Mmm. Really, really good. Actually, I think this might be one of the first times I've ever tried roasted cauliflower and I really really like it really really delicious and it is actually really spicy definitely something I will make on the air fryer again great delicious recipe